What's going on YouTube, Carson Cruz. In today's video, we are going to investigate whether or not the Prism Silver is actually the best investment for long-term potential within the hobby um, of the top player sports cards. Today we're gonna look at Kobe uh, Bryant's top chrome rookie card and some other cards, LeBron James, we're gonna go through uh, Jason Tatum, Luca, and Zion, and then we're gonna check out Devin Booker, who I think is another guy who has MVP potential. I'm gonna show you a card or a brand of cards that you would think he has tons of stuff, but up until this year was only featured in the concourse premiere and courtside the years before that he only has one option in there so yeah we're gonna check out those today all right so we're on here and let's go on to ebay and let's get some searching done let's do let's gonna start out with the uh 20 oh we're gonna start off with the 1996 tops well, let's do this. How about this? Kobe, Bryant, and, and these are going to be the highest price sales cards. Of them. We don't need to like basically just eliminate the rest because there will be some other ones that you might want to look out for, not just necessarily for Kobe, but some of the younger guys or when you're searching for any of the players for that matter and buying their prison parallels. Um, you know, the silver is great and it is one of the best investments that you can make. They're also... Uh, a lot of times you see some of this other stuff undervalued and in the long run uh it ends up being some of the most expensive stuff so uh let's get in here we see kobe bryant he his most expensive sale is this um his silver refractor and uh yeah you can see there we're gonna go over to psa over here to the psa pop report so P oh, psa population report and kobe bryant 1996-97 tops chrome and while he's popping up over here you know it didn't take very long did it it might once we click on basketball it's going to take a minute probably to populate because there are 25,000 of them we're going to open up another page over here and we're going to look at lebron james and his is the tops uh chrome is obviously his uh Oh shit, I did it again. Lois need highest. His highest is the Topps Chrome uh, <clears throat> ref Refractor, so we think. We're going to go over here and we're going to see. Well, obviously, he has some autos. Let's turn this graded off. There we go. All right. So we're looking over here and we're looking at LeBron James. A gold refractor of Topps Finest is actually his highest base card sell. Uh, and that was in an 8.5. Wow. Uh, well, there's a patch from Opulence, but we see. 145,000 on August 24th, a black refractor and a 10, which is probably pretty damn rare considering there's like 500 in existence. Uh, sold for 145,000, where the silver refractor's most expensive sale is 90,000 in a pristine 10, which is pretty much better than a PSA 10, obviously. Um, and then he's got this X fractor here that sells for 65K in a nine, probably closer. I mean, he should actually sell for more than the black, whether or not it does. In the long run, I, I'm not real sure, but I know that a card that sells for sixty-four thousand and a nine is probably worth a hundred and fifty to two hundred k in a ten. So let's go over here now. We got this pulled up, and let's look at Kobe. And here's the reason why Kobe's like it starts with Kobe. The last twenty-five years of having prison parallels, Kobe's the first big rookie to have one, and a, a refractor or whatever. And the reason Kobe doesn't have any that sell for more than the silver is because he doesn't have any. In 1996, there weren't any other um, parallels to the refractor. And then let's go back over here to Pop Report. And then let's pull up 2003. Oh, that's two, 2003. 2003, that's a long time for now. Tops, Chrome. And let's look at LeBron James. And oh, number one, there we go. Now basketball is number one. Here we go. Um, and well, while this set's searching here, we've already seen which one sells for the most. Uh, we're going to look at the pop report on it. Uh, next guy we're going to look up here. Hold on a second. That was an easier way of doing this. Duplicate tab. There we go. All right. So let's look at <clears throat> um, the next guy that I have on the list, and that is Jason Tatum. And Jason Tatum here. See? Well, that's an optic one of one, so that's kind of crazy low, but... Uh, you got one number to 25 here is his highest prism sale 
uh, in a Mojo Prism. That's 15K. Uh, it's a gold fast break auto. There's a neon green. The, the, this one sold for less than the other one. <laughs> but, I mean, it, you know, granted, this one right here sold in the play, at, well, October 19th. That was after the playoffs. But you got an orange to 49, 13K. Uh, blue velocity to 39, 13K. Silver, 10K. So there's the silver. And uh, it sold at the height of the market at, on August 23rd. So these cards that are selling for this much here were selling after the market had already dropped down. Look at this. Here is one on, that just sold for 10K, which, when you know, if he becomes the... And I think he's one of the guys that has the potential to be uh, a high, high-level superstar. Him and Jalen Brown have already played in more playoff games than Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen combined for their first three or four years in the league. So, dude, like, and Jalen Brown's played in the most. Jason Tatum is the second most. Uh, you see Jason Tatum there. Uh, you know, there's several other parallels that are top up there b besides just the silver. But, I mean, dude, there, there's tons of different colors and stuff and options to buy where you can get in on these. And, obviously, they be, as they become more rare, you see here, let's look at LeBron. And let's look at why the black, I mean, obviously it's numbered, but let's look at the pop report and make sure here the black one has been, has 20 total PSA 10s. The X-Fractor has seven. That's why the nine sold for so much because it only has 41. Where the refractor is up to, you know, 539 versus 58 versus 131. And then the gold has 20 total and it's probably numbered to 25, 50. I don't really know. It didn't say. Uh, but yeah, we got Jason Tatum there and we'll go over here once again maybe and we'll type in 2017 prism and the pop count on this probably pretty pretty high as well uh 2017 prism oh we need basketball homie basketball <clears throat> there yeah there we go 2017 prism pop count of 50,000 cards holy crap see that's double uh, what Le what LeBron and Kobe's were? It's crazy. LeBron's was like maybe 15. Kobe's was like 25,000. So, you kind of see where that is going. Now let's go up here. Let's look at our next guy. We're gonna look at, and that's Luka Doncic, at Luka Doncic Silver Prism, kind of the holy grail of modern ultra modern basketball. And uh, well, obviously these freaking. National Treasures, number to 99, sold for more than the, on the same day. I really have that one. That's a nine, though. I guess that's why. You get, look, you got a silver lot, but look how many it took to get there. It took one, two, three, four, five, five and four bases to get that, that price, but that's not a single card. We're looking for single cards here. Box, 55K for a case. It's pretty good, I guess. Uh, <laughs> all right, so the first one here is the numbered out of 20, White Sparkle. You have a numbered out of 99, Blue Ice, which, wow. I mean, I guarantee you these things were cheap two years ago. I don't know because, like, I mean, I bought a pack. I pulled a red, white, and blue, and I never bought any more cards again for, like, a year and a half. So, I don't really know. But a one, number to 199, Blue Refractor, 340, or 34,000. There's a Tiger for 33,000. Uh, Black Velocity, number to 39. A silver quartzite, which is a much better option than a silver prism. And, and, dude, silver prisms are fine, so don't get me wrong. I'm just like, I feel like everybody thinks that's the ultimate. And, you know, a lot of these these cards sell sometimes for less than a, like, raw, for less than the damn silver does. And it just blows my freaking mind. Uh, and, and it's not all the colored parallels. And, you know, some of them are hobby, some of them are retail. But it all depends on... You know, in the long run, it's all going to depend on this right here, the pop report of, uh, you know, what there are. So we look at Jason Tatum here. Maybe we will. Jason, he's at 6,900. So if you own a base PSA 9 or 10 in Jason Tatum, like this is what I would say, or any, anybody, is you sell that card because it is like you're not going to have the opportunity to buy one of those black refractor LeBron James and a Jason Tatum if he gets up there and amazing. The price will be so much more 
than you could have ever imagined. The most a regular LeBron has ever sold for was in a black label BGS, which is like the rarest it can be for 18K. They usually, you can buy a PSA 10 for like six, maybe it's 10K. I don't know how much exactly they are, but they, you, you can buy those for cheap. You were talking about 15 times the value and whenever select card that you will find in the base in his rookie set is this one right here and i just I, I just got outbid on that one at 100 bucks but i mean six days left dude yeah i'm, I'm never gonna get that card uh, i wish i could uh there is a jersey card and there's a couple autos and that is absolutely it there is nothing else in here in this set of devin bookers and uh we'll go back over here and we finally got this monster of 142,000, 142, bro. Holy shit. All right, so Luca, 23,000 times. If you own one of these graded in either of these, or any of these areas, actually, you should sell it. And you, you should sell it quick. Look, the blue ice, there, there's only been 46 graded. That was one that sold for, one of the ones that sold for the most, and the blue prism. Look, there's blue shimmer. My, my buddy was telling me he has the pink ice. And uh, well, I don't know where that one is right now. But, I mean, look at how low all these num these colored numbers are compared to that top number. And let's just go down here and look. 3,794 graded Luka Doncic silver prisms. Dude, this card will not hold up to any of these other cards long term. Like, there is just absolutely no way. So, with that being said. You know now, like, if you can get out of the base, you should get into one of these colors because they are super, super, super cheap. All right, so we see 2015 Select, no, no Devin Bookers at all. There is one Devin Booker in the courtside. How is one of the top rookies from that class only have one Select card? Like, they all have, like, three. All Like, Cat and KT. Jokic has two, I believe. Maybe three. Uh, yeah. D'Lo has three. He's one. Um, look in here and look at the look at the sales price of some of these cards. On November fourth, the copper number to forty nine sold for seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred, bro. It, look, it, it, you you are nuts if you're buying this card over this card because obviously, like that one is a PSA nine and that's a great buy for it. It's great because you can't even buy the silver is. 2400 right now but look at all this shit man this is unbelievable um that psa 10 purchase right there on october 17th for a thousand bucks dude that that is nuts that someone got that cheap but like all these sales man october 4th psa 9 700 700 uh a 9.5 700 and a copper auto number 49 this one auto uh this is a not even numbered version and a 9.5 like dude there's 595 for the silver on november 1st i rest my case bro like this has so much potential devin booker is right now if you look at his first five seasons in the league versus kobe's first five seasons in the league devin booker has scored 1800 more points than kobe did it's nuts it is nuts bro so the next thing we got to do here is show you what else is so screwed up about Devin Booker and Select? And let's just do it right now. Um, when you take Sold off there, cool. 2016-17 Select, Devin Booker's second year. And look, you can go on COMC right now and pick one up for 19 bucks of his courtside. Dude, there are zero. There are no other cards, base cards. So you're looking at a a uh autos jerseys in it and uh one other and one court side is rookie year a court side and some patches in his second year and that is it for select like dude the, the, the people are, people are going to catch on to this sooner or later and it's not going to be good bro i dude this is probably one of the hugest mistakes that i've made in the longest time but i'll show you this you get you guys are going to be like what all right so we're over here and he has nothing. 2017. Dash 18. Select. Devin Booker. He has this card here, which is a silver prism. 
and he has a premier level and that is it there are no other cards and i actually got one of these for eight bucks today dude like oh yeah baby oh yeah but that's it so now one more time let's go do this we're gonna go to 2018 dash 19 select how many do you think he's got one and the reason there's 64 is because the only one he has this year is the concourse like dude is this a conspiracy theory do they know devin booker's on pace to being one of the like five all-time highest scorers in the nba like it is nuts that he he's this rare and select like the you know the number one hobby only brand i would say is select and devin booker is not featured in any of this shit like amazing and so you know you go to 2019 and he actually has some uh cards but but that's it that's it bro um you can see i got outbid on those um but yeah anyway that's pretty much the video for that look we we, we can look at oh did we look at lucas pop report yeah we did uh we can look over here at the pop report for um 20 uh let's say 2015-16 select and and look like devin booker like all these other rookies man like he just doesn't uh, it, 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 the cards aren't there and uh, uh let me tell you about christian wood real quick while that's loading up here let's see duplicate because i don't leave these up because i'm gonna go through and find some stuff on the currents but we got uh christian wood who is expected to be really good this year they're only a, he only has 187 cards christian wood does uh this right here is gonna blow your freaking mind but 2015 2016 and let's see why didn't it not why did it not like yeah we want 2015 2016 season there we go boom and why is it not adding them up here it's, not, it's the stupid pop report over there. It's loading and not letting me do anything. Uh, Christian Wood rookie card. There we go. All right. Dude, look at this. I bought one of these for a dollar at a card show this weekend. 30 bucks. Unfreaking believable. And it's still nine days left. I rest my case. Go buy some Devin Bookers. Peace.